Hey guys, it's Bench175 and I wanted to make a video on the 12 pound hammer spring for the Beretta Elite LTT and the hammer springs from uh, Langdon Tactical as well. And uh, there are videos on online about how to change the hammer spring so I won't like do a whole video on that but just some um, tips on doing it for this gun. So these screws are T8 screws, T8 Torx screws, sorry, Torx bit. The one that looks like a star. So you you take off both of these um, grip panels, and then down over here, uh, what I did is I just held this down with my thumb, and then I used a one sixteenth uh, Allen key, and uh, there's a there's a pin that's uh, holding holding this uh, flush cap here, and so I was able to just use this while I push this down with my thumb popped out the pin and I have some pictures that I'll show you um a couple pictures showing like the actual 12 pound spring because actually this one is the the model d one now that I took out uh, I also have pictures uh, comparing those two so the 12 pound one is just a little bit shorter And then uh, after you, this uh, is under spring tension, uh, spring pressure, I guess. So be careful, just let that like slowly come out. And then uh, take out the spring, it has some uh, grease on it. And so when I put in the, the 12 pound spring, I did also um, put a little bit of this uh, Battleborn grease I got on Amazon and put this on the 12 pound spring in the same spots where I saw the grease on the Model D spring. Uh, and then you put that over the uh, hammer strut, I believe it's called. And put the cap back back on the right way. And then again, push it down, hold it with your thumb, and then you can you can pop the, you can push the, the, the pin back through this cap and then tighten this, tighten the panels back down again. So I'll go ahead and show you um, uh, the trigger pull weight now. So before it was uh, it was about six when I did it twice. The average was six pounds eleven ounces. So let's see what we're getting now. Okay, six pounds, six ounces on that one. So, I I feel like I do feel a difference between this spring and the other one. Um, but as you can see by the numbers, it's not really that much different. So there I got six pounds and uh, eight ounces. Sorry, let me bring this in. Okay, let's check the single action. Three pounds, eight ounces. Three pounds, twelve ounces. So the single action pull is about the same. And uh, I I have put um, ninety four rounds of Federal one hundred fifteen grain target ammo, and uh, fifteen rounds of Winchester one fifteen grain target ammo, ten rounds of Federal low recoil one hundred thirty five grain, and another ten rounds of uh, Federal one forty seven HST hollow points. So 100, 129 rounds through it and uh, none of them had any problems um, going off with the, the lighter strike. So yeah, it was worth it, $12.
uh, total, I believe, for the for the 12 pound spring. And uh, yeah, I guess I'd recommend changing it if, if you want a slightly lighter trigger pull. Alright guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.